Hello YouTube and welcome to another OpenSense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to secure your OpenSense firewall using the two-factor authentication. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know OpenSense was built security in mind, okay? But actually there are some settings or some features that are not enabled by default and they can make your firewall very secure. One of these features is actually uh, two-factor authentication. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up two-factor authentication on OpenSense. So first let me log on to my uh, firewall here. So here as you can see I'm using just the local database so I will just provide actually username and password. So let's log in. So here we go, I am in. So in order to set up actually this uh, two-factor authentication, we can use an existing user, for example here a root, or we can actually set up a new user and set up two-factor authentication for it. So for me, let's create actually another user here. So I will go to system and under system, I will go to the menu access. And you can see that here I have a menu dedicated to users where I can create user, okay? So as you can see here, I have the default one which is the root and I have also one created for open VPN access. So let's create another user for example here. So I will add here the button and I will create username for example Aminos, okay? And I will input here actually a password for it. Here we go. So of course here you can enter your full name if you want and also actually the email and also use some comments if you want, okay? And for the group membership, I will make it as an admin here as you can see. So here we go. So this is the basic settings that are given to this user here. So let's save it. Here we go. So let me save this password, okay? So as I told you, two-factor authentication can be actually used for existing user or for new created users, okay? So let's set up now this uh, two-factor authentication for these users, okay? So you will notice under the same menu access, there is Submenu called servers dedicated to authentication servers. So I'll click on it. Here we go, servers. So by default, I have only one server called local database, which is used to actually get username and password. It stores just username and passwords, okay? But we need actually another server to authenticate, this time users using the local database, but also the one time based actually. Uh, password okay so let's click on this plus button here in order to add another one so I will add it here so you can give it a description name if you want but first the type that we have to choose is this one local plus the time based one time password okay so I'll choose it I will give it for example a name so let's call it for example local that the one time password okay so you can name it whatever you want and you can leave the default uh, actually field as it is. For example, for the token length, you can just leave it as six if you want, okay? And I guess the default values are okay. So now we can save this new server that we have created. Here we go. Here we go. So we have now created our second server, which calls LOTP, okay? So now we can return back to our user in order to make it use this actually uh, two-factor authentication okay so now let's return back to our user that we have just created which called aminos and i will actually edit it here we go edit and if you scroll down to the bottom you will find here a field called one time password seed so let me show this seed here we go and let's generate one. Okay, so you can see now that I have QR code that I can scan 
with my favorite actually application so there are a lot of application for one time password so here i will just use the google authenticator in order to scan this qr code okay so after scanning your uh, qr code with your favorite one time password so here I, as i told you i used the authenticator from google i will save that okay so now before actually using this uh, method here for two-factor authentication you have to test it okay so in order to test it there is a menu specially dedicated for that which called as you guess it tester so i'll click on this tester sub menu here so in order to test that it's pretty easy you select your authentication server username here aminos and let me make sure i am mistyped that in correct characters so aminos then here you have to input actually first your token from your application then the password that you have entered okay so let me go to my mobile phone in order to to actually input the numbers from my application here here we go so three four three two zero four then i will input the password that i have set up for this user okay then i will test that and here we go you can see the authentication successfully okay so actually you can reverse the order here so as i told you i first entered the token then the password and they are attached they not they should not be separated but if you want to change the order all you have to do is to go servers here and uh, edit this option here for our time based one time password and check this box so checking this box requires the token after the password but the default is the token before the password okay so now that we have tested our actually server it's working we can set up that on actually our firewall so in order to do that you have also to go your settings okay and uh, administration okay then you scroll down scroll down tell your found authentication servers so here as you can see for the authentication server so by default nothing is selected so if nothing is selected the default is local database but here we want to use actually our new server that we have created which is LOTP so we have to choose that you can also choose both if you want okay so let me just choose this uh, first one here in order to set up just two-factor authentication and I will save that okay so now the changes has been applied so let me log out and now we want to log in using as you can see here the user that we have created so I will log in here of course here I have to append the token first so here as I told you you must first input the token then the password so I will input the token then the password here we go and as you can see now I can log in to the firewall so remember the token first from your authentication application then the password you can change that and see it as I told you okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to set up two-factor authentication on OPN Sense firewall so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and if you have any suggestion for future video drop them in the comment below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye